welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be playing Metal Gear Solid 3. I know it's kind of the third one in the series, but canonically, it's the first one in the series. So, I'm going to be starting with it. As you can see, I am booting up a new game. Nothing on it. Um, I like MGS3. Normal. As I look in for too World much of a War challenge. Two, the world was split into two. East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. Approaching Soviet airspace. 20 minutes to drop off. Commencing internal depressurization. Equipment check. Arm main parachute. All right. You ready to go? Drop zone still showing a high pressure mass. Cab okay. Good. We've got high visibility. I'm excited for this playthrough. Cigar. Connecting oxygen hose to interior connector. Put on your mask. Does this panty waste know what he's doing? Approaching release point. Ten minutes to drop off. Hey, are you deaf? Depressurization complete. Checking oxygen supply. Six minutes to drop off. Opening rear hatch. Territory, and somebody might be listening in. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. You're not to mention your real name. Snake? What, you don't like snakes? What do you mean? You've eaten one before, haven't you? In survival training. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. 
I don't know if I'd ever order one at a restaurant, but... Be careful. You might not have a choice. What about you, Major? What should I call you? Hmm. Let's see. I'll be... I'll be Tom. Call me Major Tom. This will be a sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox unit's speciality. In other words, weapons and equipment to procure on site. That goes for food as well. You're completely naked, just as your name implies. Great. Now I see why you asked me if I like snakes. I suppose calling me Snake was your idea of a joke, too. No. There's a good reason for that. I'll tell you later when the time is right. Remember some of the basics of CQC. Commencing virtuous mission now. Major, I've spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK-47s and grenades. So I have played Metal Gear a good bit, but it is going to be a new experience to be playing it on camera, so, <coughs> sorry. <sighs> There you go. 
good fast way to take them out. Oh dang it! I did not see that guy. Oh no. Got him. HQ What's going on? Respond. There's something wrong. Support unit. Confirm their status. Got him. My aim is not as good as it used to be. Been a while since I've played this game. There we go. If you care about the cutscenes and stuff, I'm sorry. <laughs> They're on YouTube if you want to watch them.
my friends. Let us fight together again. I have waited long for this day. We will fight with you once more. Welcome back, boss. Now that all five of us are together, it's time we go to the depths of hell itself. It's raining blood. Is he crying? Kuabara, Kuabara. Ah, what a joyful scene. Colonel Vogan. Welcome to my country. And to my unit. What is this? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift from my new hosts. Recoilless nuclear warheads. These will make a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. Who is he? Another one of your disciples? Are we taking him with us? No, this one is still just a child. Too pure for us Cobras. He has not yet found an emotion to carry into battle. What are you talking about? Think you can pull the trigger? Seen my face. We can't let him live. If Khrushchev finds out about this, we're finished. He must die. Wait. He's my apprentice. I'll take care of him. <clears throat> Jack, you can't come with us. Done here. Now, on to Sokolov's research facility. Shagohad is ours. Drift away. 
My place is with them now. job snake we're coming to get you now just stay where you are we'll drop a recovery balloon can you set it up So that was kind of important. Um. Um. Volgan, he just bombed his own country. So now the Soviets think it was the U.S. So how does it feel to be a patient in one of the? Yesterday, the White House received an unexpected call. President Johnson? Yes, I hear you, Mr. Chairman. It was a hotline call from Khrushchev to President Johnson. From the head of the Soviet Union? That's right. A few days ago, one of our country's main design bureaus, OKB-754, was destroyed in a nuclear explosion. At about the same time, our anti-aircraft radar picked up a signature that appeared to come from one of your military aircraft. Does any of this sound familiar to you? In 
retaliation, I have placed our armed forces on secondary alert. Depending on your response, I may be left with no choice but to order the military to maximum alert and unleash Armageddon. With the help of your predecessor, I was able to survive the Cuban incident. But my power is not as great as it once was. If I am to survive this crisis, I must have your full cooperation. I should have contacted you myself. Did you know that one of our soldiers defected to your country a week ago? No. So you haven't heard that. The man who arranged the defection was a Gru colonel by the name of Yevgeny Borosovich Volgin. Volgin? Of the Brezhnev faction. Go on. Who is the soldier? Her name is the boss. She's a living legend. Oda. You mean... the boss? The mother of your special forces? Yeah, that's the one. And she took two miniature nuclear shells along with her. The boss took two miniature nuclear shells? I'm afraid so. I believe they were a gift for her new hosts. But Sokolov's research facility was completely wiped out. The whole area is polluted. I can only offer you my deepest condolences over this terrible tragedy. So, the boss, with Colonel Volgen's help, stole two experimental nuclear shells and took them with her as a gift when she defected. Then, shortly thereafter, Sokolov's design lab, a top-secret military research facility, was destroyed by one of these weapons. Am I right so far? Yes, that's correct. And the American government denies any involvement in the affair. Is that right as well? That's correct. We were not involved in any way. Then what was a U.S. military aircraft doing on our radar screen? It was clearly in violation of our airspace. And yet you say it was not acting under your orders. That's correct. You expect me to believe that this was all the work of a single soldier? I will need some kind of proof that this was not the action of the American government. You have one week. You must catch the boss yourselves and recover the remaining nuclear device. Then, you must find some way to prove your innocence. Prove our innocence? Yes. Preferably something painful. Prove to me that this is not merely another one of your tricks. <coughs> to put it simply, in order to avoid a full-scale nuclear conflict, we have to prove that America was not involved in that explosion. And eliminating the boss ourselves will prove America's innocence? Right. The higher-ups have decided that you're the only one capable of pulling this off. You were her last apprentice. Screw this one up, and we'll both be six feet under. There's no choice. Are the Russians going to be helping us? The KGB has promised to lend us one of their communications satellites so that you and I can talk to each other. That's it? They've also put us in touch with a couple of insiders. And, um, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, next episode should be coming out soon, but, um, I'm gonna leave it there.